I'm Lauren Green, and you're in the strategy room. The new Congress hasn't yet been sworn in, but President Obama already is warning he plans to use his veto pen to counter plans from the incoming Republican majority. In an interview with NPR, the president said, quote, there are going to be some areas where we disagree. And, you know, I haven't used the veto pen very often since I've been in office. Now I suspect there are going to be times, some times where I've got to pull that pen out. Well, joining us to discuss are Katrina Pearson, spokesperson for the Tea Party Leadership Fund, and Jessica Ehrlich, a former Democratic congressional candidate. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica, let me start with you. Is the president already going on the defense with the, with the new Republican-led uh, Congress? I, I don't think he's actually going on the defense here because he went on to say in the article in, or in that interview that there are several areas where he feels they can find bipartisan support and there are certain things that he wants to protect like environmental regulations and things that are important to him and his legacy but that he's hopeful that uh, in the new Congress they'll be able to move forward on some jobs bills, on some good immigration work and hopefully um, that's what will happen that we'll see in the next two years. And Katrina, how do you take that? I mean, is this a warning shot across the bow kind of thing? Well, I don't think this is, you know, out of the ordinary. I mean, we have a tyrant on the throne and I think this is the best thing going into the 2016 presidential cycle. This last November, the American public fundamentally rejected this president's policies and we have Republicans now. But the good thing about this is finally Republicans' message is going to get out. They're going to be able to talk about tax reform, they're going to be able to talk about jobs and talk about the regulations that are overburdening the public right now as well as taxes. So I think it's great that the American public is finally going to hear the other side of the story mm -hmm. that they haven't been able to hear since this president's been in office. But more importantly, it's going to hold those other Democrats feet to the fire when it comes to actually governing now in a bipartisan way. So Katrina, you mentioned jobs and, 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 and uh, taxes and all of that, but will there be areas the president and the GOP can agree on? Well, from what it sounds like, the GOP leadership is supportive of some immigration reform. However, we're talking about illegals in the country who are working, which is going to drive down wages. So the debate that's going to be had on this particular topic could go either way. So I think it's going to be interesting now that the American public is going to hear both sides of the story. And Jessica, what is your take? I mean, where are the areas the GOP and the president will agree? Yeah, I mean, I think it's very interesting. Katrina makes a good point, actually, about the opportunity for Republicans to sort of take the lead with tax reform, with a lot of issues. But they haven't really focused on that yet, so it'll be really interesting to see what that message exactly is. There definitely are areas where, particularly with immigration uh, reform, specifically with um, agricultural and low-wage workers and with high-tech industry and those highly skilled workers where businesses in the U.S. are demanding that we really address those immigration issues as well as border security. And I think those are probably the first things that we'll see coming out of the Congress. But it'll be particularly interesting because Republicans don't have a veto-proof two-thirds majority in Congress right now. So it'll be really an interesting time to see how leaders McConnell and Boehner handle both of their majorities in the House and the Senate to bring together this bipartisan work. And hopefully they'll have to get some of the Democrats that they got involved with the Cromnibus um, for the appropriations bill with them again um, in the next Congress if they really want to make sure that they have a solid bill that the president can't uh, veto. Yeah, they, they really have to work together still. So, Jessica, what are some of the controversial issues the, uh, the new Senate was going to take on? Well, I mean, there's going to be definitely some controversy, I think, on the Keystone Pipeline. It's something that, you know, McConnell has already said that they're going to be addressing. The president has continued to sort of drag his feet a little bit on that and ask that they wait until the whole review process is done for environmental protection reasons and things like that. Um, certainly anything, I think, relating to major changes or unfunding of the health care law. But it's been interesting that we haven't really heard much about that from leadership um, on either side right now. So hopefully there will be some things where especially dealing with um, funding going forward, whether it's dealing with um, you know, some of the Iran sanctions right now are at play, which will be very interesting because the House is looking to create stronger sanctions, financial sanctions against Iran, while the um, State Department is currently in negotiations with them. It'll be a very sort of delicate situation moving forward. But um, it's going to be, I think, actually uh, some interesting two years we have ahead of us before the uh, next election. Yeah, and Katrina, your take on what will be sort of the newsmaking conflicts uh, over the next two years? 
Well, I, I think that definitely our foreign relations are going to be, you know, up in arms considering how to deal with Iran, more importantly, how to deal with ISIS moving forward. But I do think we're going to see an uptick on this health care discussion simply because it's still not popular with the American public and all the senators that ran this last cycle and even beat out some of the incumbents on both sides of the aisle ran against defunding Obamacare. I think health care now has an opportunity to have that debate, what Republicans can offer in place of it. This one size fits all policy coming out of this president and administrations prior is not workable in a republic. We are trying to function this entire country as a democracy and that's simply not the way it's set up. A lot of these issues need to be kicked back to the states where they belong. Up until this point, since Obama's been in office, he's only used the veto pin twice. Your predictions, uh, how often he will use it in the next year? Uh, Katrina, you go first. I think he'll veto every bill that he doesn't like coming out of the Republicans. Um, he's just, he's not willing to work across the aisle. We've heard several reports how he wasn't interested in meeting with Republican leadership. I don't expect that to change considering he's pretty much in a lame duck. And I also think that not having a, a veto-proof majority is not going to be the issue depending on the policy. There are going to be some Democrats that are going to buck that current going into 2016. And Jessica, what's your take? Yeah, I think it'll be very interesting to see actually how many bills come out of the House and Senate and make it to the president's desk. I think that's sort of the first place to start because we've seen the most unproductive Congresses for the last six years that we've seen since, I mean, in many people's lifetimes. So I think it'll be a ratio based on what those bills are and where Republicans and decide to focus. Because if they really do decide to focus on things like the economy and tax reform and doing things that are really their base platform, there could actually be a lot of bipartisan movement we could see going forward. And I think that would be the best bet. But if it really gets down into a nitty gritty sort of fight over what the president's done specifically on, you know, environmental regulations or climate change or things like that. It could get uh, fairly ugly and definitely there'll be some divisiveness going on. Wow. All right. Thanks, Katrina and Jessica. For more on this developing Thank story, you. stay with FoxNews.com. I'm Lauren Green. And thanks for watching.